Hey everybody, this is Maniac with Game Access. Today we're going to be doing a new how-to. What we're going to show you how to do is how to hook up your brand new iPad 2s to your brand new big screen TVs. And all it takes is this. This right here is all you need in order to get the ball rolling. This is the Apple Digital AV Adapter, which takes a signal from your iPad uh, or your iPod or your iPhone and takes them and transmits them so that you can have a HDMI output. So what you have to do is you stick this end into your iPad 2 and you'll need a extra cable if you want a data connection to the USB or for a charge and an HDMI cable to hook up directly to your high definition television or your high definition receiver. The iPad 2 has a very interesting function in there called mirroring in which you can take what's going on in the screen and put them on a big screen TV like this one. Now in order to do that you'll need the adapter that I told you about before. These cost $40 at an Apple Store or Best Buy or something along those lines. And really it's basically just this. You're not going to get anything else with it which is kind of unfortunate. But if you pair it up with your iPod or iPad charge cable and power connection and a standard HDMI 1.3 compliant cable, then you can put what's on here on here and you can do it in full 1080p. Now you connect this end to the bottom there it goes. So it's in. Connect the HDMI connection to the HDMI output on the cable like such. And if you need data or if you want to continue with data, you can plug this into the socket right here. So you can give it power or you can connect it to your computer. And as you can see here, we've already got a full connection. Anything that's available on this screen, on the iPad screen, will be visible here. Um, as you can see here, it's not taking up the whole screen, but you'll notice that is a full 1080p image. Um, this aspect ratio of the iPad and the aspect ratio of the TV are not the same. This isn't even technically a widescreen um, a unit. This is a this is a four by three or five by four. I don't remember which. Um, so this is actually pixel by pixel of exactly what you have on here. And I can manipulate this. Uh, should I manipulate this? If I manipulate the screen. Now, I can manipulate the screen all I want, put up the search engine, put up the iPad uh, for, the, uh, for the iTunes uh, client, you play the music. Don't want to have too many seconds of that because I'm worried about copyright infringement, but you get the point that audio goes through, video goes through, it's all in, it's, uh, the audio output is uh, stereo sound, the video output is 1080p. Now, these, these cables are compatible with your iPhone, your iPhone 4, I should say, only the iPhone 4, or the fourth generation iPod Touch. And the, but there are limitations to this because the iPhone and the iPod Touch are not as high powered as this is. Um, you can only get 720p playback in video, and um, the audio is still coming out in stereo. But it will not mirror like this will. All it will do is simply play your video files or your audio files, or I believe your pictures as well. And it will do this in 720. Um, if, you don't, if you have a lower or an older model iPod or, or something, or iPhone, um, it will not work. You will not, it just will not be compatible. And you will need to have the most recent 4.3 uh, software on there. Um, so, um, also the iPad will work along the same lines, but you will not get mirroring out of the iPad, the original model iPad, and you will need the most recent firmware also. Um, so, here's how you can get it done. If you've got an iPad 2, I definitely recommend having this cable. If you have a, uh, an iPhone 4 or a 4th generation iPod Touch, I also recommend having this cable because I've been watching all of my videos in standard definition with the original iPod charge cable, and... Really, it's not that. It's it, it, this. This will look a lot better on, especially if you have an, a newer TV. I only recommend to getting the older cables now that have video outputs or RCA pin plugs. If you have an older, non-high definition television, 
So um, here's some uh, way to get some fun out of your iPad. I recommend it if you've got it. This is Maniac with Game Access, over and out.